the designer breed of dog, known as the doodle, refers to mixing a poodle with another breed that sheds. This is Henry, and he is an Aussie doodle, which is an Australian shepherd and a poodle mix. Henry is here for his summer cut, so I'm taking his body down today before the bath so that there will be less hair to shampoo and less hair to dry. A common misconception about the doodle is that they are hypoallergenic. Remember, they are mixed with a breed of dog that sheds, which means that they can shed and they can still produce the same dander that affects allergy sufferers. A common problem we groomers see on doodles is extremely matted coats. Henry was in pretty good shape today, despite a few mats on his legs and paws. Mixing two completely different coat types, one that sheds and one that does not, makes for a very difficult coat to maintain. They require very thorough daily brushing, which can be a challenge for today's busy families. So remember, if somebody in your household is allergic to dogs, or you do not have the time to dedicate to daily brushing, you may want to consider the standard poodle. Believe it or not, the standard poodle can still have the same teddy bear cut that we are used to seeing on doodles. They do not shed, and their coat is much easier to maintain. While doodles like Henry are wonderful dogs, I find that most people are not informed of this very important information before getting one. After this good boy's bath, I soak up any additional moisture using my absorber, and then I spray him down in our quick dry spray. He looks like the most adorable old man as I blow dry him with the high velocity dryer. Although he is quite nervous and dealing with some separation anxiety, Henry is a very good dog. <laughs> After his majestic blow dry, I smooth over his haircut using my three and three quarter blade. And then I clip his nails. I shave out his paw pads. And then I round up his adorable paws. I'm taking the top of his head down in my 7-8 inch attachment comb and then I tidy up the hairs that go inside his mouth. After that, I trim the corners of his mustache, and I blend that in using my thinning shears. I shorten up his fantastic tail, and then using my Opaz paint pens, I'm giving him some temporary yellow color on the tip of his tail. I spray him down in our jelly bean cologne, and Henry is all finished. As a very generous thank you, he destroys my backyard. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed The Handsome Henry.